When I had my two near fatal illnesses, cancer and heart disease, and the heart disease really, I actually had a chance to, to really know what it's like to come back from the brink. Uh, it teaches you not to focus on petty things. There's so many, what do I mean by petty things? There's so many influences out there telling you you have to look a certain way, or dress a certain way. Um, they, they look at your hair, they look at your, your, the way you're dressed, and these things just don't matter in the long run. In the long run, it's who you are as a person. And that sounds hokey, sounds like something your parents would say, but it's really true. It just, you have to figure out who you are. And that's what nearly dying taught me. Um, have I figured it out completely? No, I'm still learning, I'm still evolving. But that's the beauty of it. In life, as long as you're breathing, you're evolving. And if you get stuck in a certain place like, oh, do I look okay? Oh, does he like me? Oh, does, you know, does my mom think I'm doing okay? Or whatever the case may be, that's not where you want to go. You want to keep evolving, thinking, going forward, thinking about what works for you, what you would like to pursue, what your interests are, what your values are. But that's what you learn when you nearly die. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, eye-opening. It changes the way you think about life. Is, is it something that uh, stops you? No, it actually propels you forward. It makes you see things in a different light, but you don't nearly have to die to figure that out. You can always put on what a one poet one time called new eyes, see things in a different light. It changes your whole perspective.